An early morning alarm clock ringing in my ear is not my usual way of enjoying life in Bangkok on a Sunday. Enough time for a quick shower, then hop onto the BTS and head off to the general vicinity of Chattachat Park to meet up with some fellow biking enthusiasts. <laughs> then load the bikes and riders into vans and head off to a UTA. Our mission was to meet up with Canadian firefighter Captain Rudy Pospisil. We all met about a hundred kilometers outside of Bangkok and we rode in as a group to Bangkok. And it was, it was fantastic. Everybody would group up and talk to each other and learn about each other and learn about what I'm doing on a ride. And this isn't unusual, you know, a lot of cities, cancer is such a common thing, they hear that's the cause and we'll join together and ride into the city. So I'm hoping that I inspire the cyclists here to make this an annual event. That would be great. The Bangkok contingent, organized by Andrew Clark from Smiling Albino, was joining Rudy, his son Adam, and some other riders who'd been cycling together since Chiang Mai. All the riders were taking part in a global cycling initiative, 30 countries for three cancers, to help raise money and awareness for cancer research. Although it was extremely warm, the riders had the time to take in the scenery of the Thai countryside as we rode alongside rice fields and through small villages. Rudy's warmth and enthusiasm was inspiring and he made many friends that day, including many of the locals he met whenever we stopped briefly to rehydrate. I want you to be in my <laughs> the heat is probably not a lot hotter, but the humidity, the further closer we get to the equator, you can feel it getting more humid and more humid and more humid. So it is humid, it is hot, I'm sweating a lot, but we've adapted to it quite nicely. The heat was definitely a factor, adding a few more kilometers onto the ride, but the camaraderie amongst the cyclists was exemplary. And apart from breathing hard, there was a lot of smiles all day. It was a beautiful route, We some beautiful country just outside the major metropolis of Bangkok and then the excitement of getting into the traffic of Bangkok which I seem to categorize as an organized chaos. This is crazy! When you watch it on a TV show, it looks like I would never cycle there, but in all honesty, the cars seem to be aware of the bikes and they give you a berth. Maybe I've just been lucky so far, but it seems like they are quite accepting of bikes. Our traffic experience was definitely helped by the Royal Thai Police, escorting the group through some heavy and hairy traffic as we came into Bangkok. As the last few kilometers seemed to glide by, the whole group arrived pretty much together. A little tired, but certainly feeling a sense of achievement. And if you want to know more about the adventures of Firefighter Rudy, you can have a look at his website. Firefightercycle.com And on there I have a map of where I am in the world and I write a blog each day of where I travel. And I have my email. So I accept emails. I try to get back to everybody. If you're a cancer patient, if you're interested in riding with me, everyone is welcome. Or you just want to send me an email, good or bad, I'll reply to you. Thank you. <laughs>